being live could be very dangerous. It's the only thing you do before death. I mean... <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I just don't even fight it. To the trains! And we're back. And it again. Hopefully this time, nothing will go wrong. It's Houston trying to figure out what buttons do what. Yep. I was trying to remember what moved. Okay. Hammer is B. Jump is A. Yes. X and Y do their things too. All right, where do I need to go from here? Uh, the Don's office. They went to in chapter three. To the Don. Yep. No. No, not there. Next building. I can blow that wall up. You can, but you can also just throw a bomb to the bottom left corner and get it. Inside the building. Just throw a uh, bomb right here. So, like, you know, like towards, like, facing right from where you are. I think I'll blow up as soon as it touches, or... Yeah, because he walks too far. If you press the button again, he blows it up. There you go. Did, did we ever do the rest of those yet? Did we level up partners? Uh, no, I think we saved what we had. I did get the up Not arrow, big. and that was it. Not that this is imperative yet. No, but it will probably help to upgrade them. Before How chapter six at least. I'm alive. And I'm doing fine. How about you? You sound sleepy. I am sleepy. I see. I prefer being Doc. I don't remember what I needed to do. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you don't pay attention to anything. <laughs> uh, you're going to... What's it? Um, heel hockey. Alright. Uh... You, you could go down in the sewer and take the blue pipe if you want. To the blue pipe. Yep. I am actually dreepy. Oh no. You're not going left, you're going right. And then down the pipe. Wait, he's not supposed to be there yet. No, he's not. But we did the minor sequence break. Didn't you uh, reset before doing the minor sequence break? I thought I did. Or maybe I went to Pox and Heights and didn't do anything. Oops. And that might have been triggered. Also, don't die. Yeah, that would be a bad idea. Nope. <laughs> I, knew. I knew it. Okay. This is an FYI. Sweet Feast is almost never worth it. Yeah, I figured. 
I presume. It's not worth the five. If you can time it, you can do a hammer and kill them all. Now I don't have to care as nearly, nearly as much. Well, you did the minimum you had to. Yep, that's all that really matters. No, not down. You have to go right. The pit of 100 trials. Hey, I found 28 star pieces. A lot more than I thought we would find. I guess it's worth saving. <laughs> I really think it was, but. Well, then I don't have to go talk to what's his face again. I guess. Ah, uh, jeez. Into the pipe. That pipe over there. Yes, the pipe that you just walked by. That pipe. Yes, that one. It's one. It is indeed a microphone. This one or the next room? I think it's the next room, isn't it? Yep, next room. I think it's the right one. And just wrong, just peers up on the screen. No, you picked the wrong panel. Wrong neighborhood, bud. And then... Are they on the right or on the left? I forget if they're in the jungle already or if they're still here. I need to do the great sleep. <laughs> sure. Mario wakes up dead the next day. How do you wake up dead? Very carefully. I'm pretty sure if you wake up, you're not, you're not dead. I feel like that was the plot of a lot of Thousand shows. That sounds about right. Wake up dead. And then it plays the Super Mario World bonus music. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think I'd make it. Nothing that far. is different. It just won't stop playing that music. <laughs> if it's too slow, you could take off the simplifier, Houston. have to do that because it doesn't make it earlier it just makes the it widens the frame so you can do it earlier if you need to rather than timing it properly i do like that you describe it as widening the frame uh, what else is it it's like being uh, yoshi <laughs> Just widen the Yoshi. What else do you do, Yoshi? Can't make him taller. He just look weird. What was it, Yabi? Uh, that was that was the thing that somebody drew. It was just the Yoshi with a long neck. I'm sure that's a thing. You can look it up if you care. <laughs> it's 
It's just stupid looking. Alright. Like the best kind of stupid. With all that poison you spat at you. Yep. Glorious poison. It was delicious. Tasted like ketchup. Why would poison taste like ketchup? Unless ketchup has been poisoned the entire time. Maybe it has been. Like I mean, poison. it is made out of tomatoes. Or does ketchup taste like poison? No, oh, I just monkey. walked into it. Yeah, he, he shrinks and then he pops back up. That's this entire enemy. What if I you just... Run, uh... You don't have to fight at all. No! He attacked me. I believed in you. And you let me down. You don't even have to go that far. How do you get into every fight? Did I go too far? No. But it's like the next screen. Because that enemy's a plot. And it likes to jump down. But it can never get back up. This game feels weird to control. It's because you're bad at it. I mean, I'm not denying this. <laughs> that jump also sucks. Yeah, that's, that's an annoying jump to make. I had to do this jump last time, too. Did you? Well, not last time. Yeah, I think the last time I played, I had to do this jump. What? Did you play it all time chapter 5? I thought you didn't. I thought it was just me and Blue. No, because you guys kept making fun of me for uh, missing this jump. I guess. We did, I think the we? first time we came to the island. Oh was... yeah, maybe it was yeah. Because I think blue and then the cave. And I then did I'm... the actual well, boss part, and it, then yeah. I picked up at up. the end of it. Okay. There you go. There's no more enemies from this point on. You're safe. So you say, but have you seen my luck? Mm, yes, I have. Fall uh, into the water. Go in the paper mode and fall between the cracks. Oops. <laughs> Why did you do it, Houston? To spite you. Oh. I think we broke something. Because we should have ran into them. Uh, no, they shouldn't they have been on the bridge area? Did you pass the bridge already? No, 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 no. They're supposed to show up on the very first screen after the... The, what's it called? My brain is off. They're supposed to show up on the very first screen, and you're supposed to walk all the way here to get the ring. The very first screen after the camp is supposed to show up, but they're not there. Which means we I broke something by like going here. into Proxy Heights early. Oh, because I thought you had reset before and then not gone over there. I thought I did too, but I might have um, I might have gone into Proxy Heights and picked up stuff, and that might have triggered something. Mm. That might have triggered a certain flag, because they're supposed to show up on the screen left of this. Left, not right. Left, pool. The other left. The one There's no left. other left. There's only one left, and you're just stupid. Yeah, because they're supposed to be here. Like, right here, standing around, looking for the ring. Unless you're supposed to come in from the from the boat, in which case maybe, maybe the boat has a trigger, I don't know. Uh, counterpoint, the pipe being there may fuck it up. <laughs> Might have just worked this entire run because of something stupid I decided to do. Because we're in a chapter 7 state, technically. 
Well, I'm gonna go try taking the boat and see what happens. Okay. Sorry. Because we're in a chapter seven state technically because the Koopa Trolls and Magic Koopas and Bowser Minions showing up down here. Because they're not supposed to show up until chapter seven. It's either like right before it starts or after it starts. Something like that. So. I mean, I might be able to hex edit or whatever to the save. Um, yeah, basically just do some save editing. And give us what we need to be able to go to the place. The only thing we would need is the altar boots. Is because we could just go straight to Oxy Heights and grab the the crystal star from there. That would that would basically just fix our progress, but we would skip the entire train ride essentially. Oops. Because that's all that's all we would need to fix, like what I've done, but. I wouldn't doubt. I wish we could do that in reality. What, flip a ship like that? Yep. I mean, we do that. We just do it with cranes. Yes, but I don't mean with cranes. I mean just like, oh, okay, we just act, it looks 3D and acts 3D until we need to flip her around, then it acts 2D. We are all but a world of paper mache. I guess. Yeah, if this I feel doesn't like paper work. mache is more like origami king. Yeah, because it, it is paper mache with most of the origami king. Okay. Well. The toads know. Yeah, and so does uh, Mr. Bobomb over there. But if they don't show up, in which case that means I bork the sequence when I went to Oxley Heights. Oh, nope, there they are. Oh. Alright, so yeah, you do have to take the boat for whatever reason. It's weird. Well, I think it's because... I, I understand, like, why, mm -hmm. but it's still, like, weird. Like, uh, I understand why it's happening. It's because it's just doing the... The what is it? Brian is off right now. Um, because because it, it, you you could, you don't have access to the pipe now normally is what it is. Just, just tap B, just smash it, because you're gonna have to do it a hundred times. I like this by the way. <laughs> this is really good. And you can press the Z button to go back through all the hundred times he says it. Now we gotta find the ring, the one Which ring to the rule them all. At the end, by the the mustache statue and all that. Uh, can you bump it back on? I guess not. I guess it doesn't matter now. Blue, have you heard anything you about the game Skull? Uh, no. Why? No, I just, it's an interesting uh, roguelike that's a lot of fun. It released like two or three days ago. Hmm. And I've been playing the crap out of it. I'm pretty stuck on playing Risk of Rain with Sam so far. For roguelike. It's a good game. They also got Hades. That one's or really is, good. Or is how I've been pronouncing it recently. Hades. <laughs> there it is. In the background. Excuse me. 
I can't see it. My eyes are closed. Skull the Hero Slayer? Yeah. Though I am a little Initial. bit disappointed with their... Uh, February. It's supposed to release in February? Initial date. Release date is February of last year. Oh, uh, that was the... The early access, probably. Yeah. Its official release was a few days ago. And I, the early access, I've had lots of fun playing. The official release, I've had not as much fun playing. But that's because they decided to make the first boss harder. It's like, yeah, we're just going to add a second phase to the boss fight. It's like, I barely make it through it in the first place. At the very least, they did not... Well, the amount of progress that they regressed was minimized. They was like, oh yeah, we're just going to reset all of your uh, skill points. And As we're going to refund it to you. And, but like the people that you've saved that give you stuff to make starting over easier, you get to keep those. I was like, oh, neat. Yeah, because the, they probably tuned a bunch of stuff for the final release. And they didn't want to have wasted skill points, essentially, because you, you saw something else better. Mm-hmm. Well, in the initial, re or, yeah, in the early access release, I was building towards a, towards a skill that gave me invincibility frames when I dodge, or dash, or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Uh, they completely removed that from the skill tree. Probably because it was too strong. It was probably too strong. But I was very disappointed that it was gone. Because I needed those invincibility frames. You don't need them if you're good at the game. No, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Get Good. First introduced Damn and I. Thousand nine, maybe Demon Souls in two thousand seven. From Demon Souls. So Sam and you. It was early PS three. Yeah, it was like one of the very first PS three that wasn't, you know, something that was multi platform. Um. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> Boss! You're dying! But my brain always thought that this was his desk. Like, he just flipped his desk over and there's a bed under it. I mean, that'd be a pretty cool desk. <laughs> it'd be a silly I don't see desk. why it couldn't be, but it would be weird. It would be like an Eric Andre desk. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> a desk that has no real practicality, but it's cool. How about that, boss? You kind of yeah. promised him something, boss. We told him what we'd get him to the, the voice. We'd get him a ticket to the Polar Express, boss. But Christmas was like I'm almost a month ago. Polar Express only happens during the mo during winter, and right now it's just really, really cold spring. I don't care, boss. Those were good times. Francesca's voice is actually uh, 
three octaves lower than the lowest bass. Jesus Christ. It's lower than the lowest bass. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't hear it because it's below frequency. It's so low that it's completely inaudible. <laughs> what is the wavelength? One. Negative one. It doesn't it's even make sense. <laughs> it is the first wavelength. And the only wavelength. <laughs> talking. Oh god, the black spot grew something. It grew something. <laughs> what else? Oh, it just happened. The black spot became something else. Do the trade. Do -do 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 -do. There's another chapter I really like. Chapter 6 left. I don't remember if we got it, but at the far left end, there's a spin panel. Around there somewhere. Yep, okay. The train is going to punch the lights. All aboard. Like, get on this train, man. I'm the combination of the two most powerful figures. Bro, don't do it. Shaggy and Goofy. Scraggy. So would that be Googie or uh What? A fusion between uh, to make Shaggy a portmanteau. between uh, uh, Shaggy uh, and Scooby. I'm just confused as to where it's supposed to be. Shaggy and uh, Goofy. He's trying to ask if it would be Googie or Shoofy. Or Shaffy. <laughs> Shaffy. <laughs> this is so dumb. Shaffy is a shaved Flaffy. <laughs> hey, look, it's a shiny light. But it's actually a mushroom. I see, for all we know. <laughs> oh, we should have upgraded the partners. Oops. Garbage. Just absolute garbage. Throw it out. Be so gone, you tasty tonic. Too. No, the, you're so the drawer. Check the drawer. It's got a star piece normally. Oh no, it's, it's... Huh, is that fixed? There's a star piece on one of the doors. <laughs> like how it landed on the chair. Wow. Uh, you're supposed to head to the far left of the train. Yeah, I think it's room six or seven. The far and left? Far left, yeah. It's room six or seven, and you gotta talk to the penguin inside whatever room he's in. Oh yeah, there's a store in here. You could you could find out if there's anything worth buying. Looks like some okay stuff. What is that at the far end? Hmm. Yields incredible results. Oh, actually... that's that's that fuck you item that you just eat when you want to win. <laughs> yeah, this is actually the best store in the game so far. What about the trade-off? The trade-off is pretty good too. Uh, it's forty for the the thing, 
or like just generally like. But like, icicle pop and salad aren't that bad either. Yeah, the icicle pop is it freezes you if you use it in battle though. Which it's okay. Can it's not be like good. It's, it's not like it's a bad thing, but it's not like what you want most of the time. Yeah, you have to have a setup for it. Room. Yeah, I don't think we need two of them, and I can't think of a situation where we're going to need more than one. Because you don't know this, you still the top still put you to 1 HP when you use it. The what does what to 1 HP? It, it makes, it, it, when you use it on somebody, they, they go down to 1 HP, Mario or the partner. The trial stew? Yeah. And, and the reason why it's the fuck you item is because you can just put on every single Mega Rush you have. And just do a bonus like 15 damage. And Lucky Day and... Lucky Day, Close Call and... Uh, yeah, it's Close Call. Great, so I purchased one for somebody else to use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. You don't have that kind of confidence in, in this game. Left. We can always come back to this store too. Yeah. But it's nice to not have to make it. Yep. Penguin. Yep. She's just Penguin. ignoring him. Oh, you're just checking the doors. Look, it's Batman. You know, what are those rats supposed to be? I don't. I thought they were unique to this game. I thought they were too. I thought. I thought that. I thought they might have also just been based on a regular Mario, and maybe we hadn't seen like Mario two or something. No. I played through Mario two pretty recently. I don't think it's a Mario two enemy. Uh, Mario yeah, skins that penguin and uses like, it as a suit. Mazda. Okay. Uh, Okay, you gotta talk to this guy first. Okay, I thought it was the penguin first. Okay, so go back to the the food cart. And then I think something has happened there. Something happens, Houston everyone's is. dead. Kind of. A little bit. Hmm. Mm. When I look through this look, magnifying pop glass, color. why is this color not popped? It looks too cool for this world. He's wearing a pink blazer and sunglasses. Fucking <laughs> atrocious combo. This is a murder mystery. He is Toad McCool. Too bad his name is not that cool. He has to remember to turn his swag off at night. <laughs> He's the Mario equivalent of Gary Oak. Is that how that works? Yep. He learned how to drive a car at the age of six. <laughs> the age of six, you say? I mean, look at him. He's already too much. He's already cooler than Gary Oak. Does he look like somebody who would lose to Ash? No, but very few people look like they would lose to Ash. I mean, if they lose anyway. Good point. <laughs> and then there are other people that look like they would lose to Ash, and then they destroy him. <laughs> Rocket shit. Immediately. No yeah, like that guy with his level 5 Snivy. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna kick Ash's ass. With a Snivy. Against his level 80 bajillion Pikachu. But wasn't that also after, like, Zekrom stole Pikachu's power? Yes. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of just put it in perspective there. <laughs> Zekrom 
a little free battery and just fucking hate you keep using life force. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> you gotta follow the uh the superhero on the floor. He's weak, get him. I have apprehended the rogue. He has been skulking about under our very noses. The pot of suffers to advantage is suddenly and mysteriously abandoned. It's you! Indeed, you would say that. By searching for the real one. You don't need to talk to any of them, and you can just follow the little, like, goop trail. And then you can check it. And then you gotta follow it. It was actually me. Mario. But with two O's. Surprise, surprise, it was the fat toad. Hot from the kitchen. And you blame the tubby guy. Not nice. And then he challenges you to a battle. Dun, 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 He's like, dun, dun, get your dual discs out. Settle this over a children's dun, card game. Dun, 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 and then they play Pokemon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you gotta go back in that room. You gotta get the pot. He left the pot in the drawer. Rookie mistake. Leaving your pot in the drawer? Yep. Leaving the evidence with the culprit. Rookie mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so, you stole the stew. Yep. It was delicious. I'll do it again. Watch me. It was a brief moment of weakness. Yep, oh, yep. I think all of his moments are weakness. <laughs> moments of weakness are just like moments of inertia. What? <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> I heard it, and it hurt my brain. <laughs> Talk to the chef. Return the pot. A beautiful pot. I smoke this seven times a day. What? Why would you smoke a pot seven times a day? He's just making that much uh, smoked beef jerky. Why are you smoking beef jerky in a pot? What? <laughs> Talk to the penguin. He's on your left. <laughs> Look, don't question him. Pot. He's a fish. I feel like that would taste terrible. It probably would. There'd be too much moisture. How do they go even smoke properly in there? <laughs> You are it Luigi. is you, yes. Luigi. No, I'm Mario. Can you tell by my colors? I Air am Dark my... Luigi. <laughs> dark Luigi. Taste my jerky that I smoked using pot smoke. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting high from it being mildewy, or are you getting high from it being pot? Who knows? <laughs> uh, you got stuck to the bombs on the left. Not far enough. I don't remember this area being this green. Uh, it's because it, it changes to the time of day. I just, I don't remember when I played through this, this area being this green. It was blue, and then it was green because of the yellow light from the evening. 
Because it's like a yellow hill talking about everything. And then you gotta talk to the kid again. Starts with an Starts A. With a. Ass. And now, you got to talk to the guy on your left, the toad. And then he explains how he likes the train conductor or whatever. Now, oh, engineer. So now you run all the way to the, to the right engineer. Engine. Near. Far. Engineer. What about an engine far? <laughs> no. Engine can't be far. Engine in close engine. proximity. The engine must be near. What if it's an engine wherever you are? This was the other thing I never understood. Why is there a room zero? Like, because it feels like it should be ten rooms. Because we there's only nine rooms and they have enough for a tenth room. There's a panel somewhere in this room as well. Maybe there's extra cars they can add on? Maybe. For some reason this reminds me of a particular chapter in Mega Man Battle Network. I don't remember which one it was, but for some reason, that's why I'm reminded. I don't know which one you're thinking of, unless it's from not the first game. It's from not the first game. The first game is the worst one of this. Worst one that in the series. Right. Second one was pretty good. Third one was also pretty good. Nobody talks about <laughs> the fourth one. <laughs> and then it all went downhill from there. Uh, the fifth one was pretty good. <laughs> Does it go up to like six? Yeah, there's six seven. of them. The sixth one was okay. It definitely uh, it did a really good job bringing the series to a close. Okay. But it was also really that, weird. You just had me over here thinking of Mega Man X and how it all went downhill after four. What? Some people say that, like, some of the later ones are actually really good. It's just they become super anime. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know, because I, I also like 5, and I generally heard that 5 is not great. 5 is the one with Duo, right? 5 was the one... No, X. Uh, Duo was Mega Man 8. Oh, no, you're right. Uh, but... No, X5 was the one where, for some reason, they were all, what is it, Guns N' Roses names or some shit? Were all, like, the Roller Masters. All right. Masters. The Mavericks had, like, a Guns N' Roses names, Axel Rose and, like, Grizzly Slash and all them stupid names. But, I mean, that's very Japan. Yeah. And then they changed it when they re-released it in the X Legacy Collection or whatever. For the copyright. Yep. You gotta go... I think you gotta talk to the toad on the far left again. Because it'll take you just like a blanket, and then you gotta find it. Good long, Yoshi. Oh, snap. I want to listen to the Super Mario Hyden again. Some good stuff. Mm. On me, blankets, P.I. 
with Magnum PI, but also a lot less cool. You gotta go to room four. To room four. Do 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 do. No transition here. I'm sorry. You have to actually walk all the way. Or you could ride the Yoshi, but you know. Onward, Yoshi, my boy. <laughs> Yoshi, my boy. You mean Manji? All right, now you need to hide. This was the chapter I liked a lot as a kid. It's a good chapter. And then, when I played it when I was older, I remember being really annoyed by how long it is. Yeah, it feels like inflated. <laughs> it's Ghost Mang. You have to talk to Ghost Mang. Spooky ghost. He left one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy sticky threat. Okay, you gave up on that voice real No! Quick. I don't do such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like a pen and paper. What? You want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. For me? Oh! And it is your life! Just kidding. Ha ha. Funny joke. Actually, I died in this cabin a long time ago. I died in the future past. In the f past, present, future. I existed in a galaxy far, far away. I died five days from now. <laughs> Did you see it three feet to the left. <laughs> Don't read my diary. Oh. What was that game? I have my it warranty was, uh, in there. It was a Super Comic Tensei game, but there was like a point where the party members could see a clock above people's heads and that told them how long it was until they died. I think I remember reading a manga about that. Is that Nocturne? Um, it might have been one of the spin off Super Comic Tensei's. Like Devil Survivor or some shit like that. I forget. It, it was on the... Devil Survivor. Was it on a handheld or was it on a console? It, it was on a DS. I don't know if it was the DS. I kind of like weird thing that they had going on. No, it, it was it was on the, either the DS or 3DS. I forget. So it was either Digital Devil or one of the. Several weird ones like Labyrinth that were on the 3DS. Yeah. So what happens if I read the diary? Uh, game over. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, read that, you read the first page and then it's game over. I need a place to save. You don't have any. This is the save the stream. You must do it all in one run. Oh god. <laughs> that would that be terrible. Suck. I mean, if I was a speedrunner. But I'm not. You never were a speedrunner. Nope. I absolutely... I got on the train. And then I died. And then I died. And then you became Ghost Mario. And this became the next Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion on a train. <laughs> That's it? Yep. 
All right. Sure. Normally, you play. How is it Luigi's mansion on a train? Because they put a mansion on the train. I mean, Luigi's Mansion 2 was weird, but at least it was still mansions. Yeah, it was various mansions, but it wasn't mansions. Look, they just they just took a mansion, slapped I mean, it onto a really big train. <laughs> oh, God. And then it fell apart because there was no foundation and slapping is very violent. And then it learned how to play bass. What? So that it could slap all of the uh, slap all of the notes. Just okay. as good as Flea. Yep. There's so much walking involved. Yes, yes, there is. Mario needs to learn how to rollerblade. It's so much faster. <laughs> rollerblade. I don't need your mushroom. I don't need shit. I do what I want. I take what I want. I eat who I want. And I eat what I like. Do, 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 do. Sleep. Now on to day two. What time do you gotta be headed out, Blue? Hmm. We're about to hit that hour mark. Thank you, Pork. Do we call it here? Is it a decent place? or? Yeah, we could call it here. I'm just a uh, Paper Mario in the wind. Alrighty, well, I'm going to call it here then. Join us next time. Where... Oh no, he's back. Maybe. Maybe he's over again. Much mark. I don't know. Join us next time when we maybe play something else. This, or we play something else, oh. or I draw some stuff. Noticed. Um, yeah. Probably a good place then. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye. bye.